guys, it's Jennifer Elizabeth with Perry Peakless Vlogs. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today's video, I am so excited to be sharing with you. Um, I am part of an open collab that was put together by Crafty Girl Down South and Second Chance Love. And the collab is called Heart to Heart Valentine's Day Collab. I'm going to put links to both of their channels down below. So in today's video, I'm going to be decorating for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna decorate two of my tiered trays that you're looking at right here. And I also have a little glass greenhouse that I'm gonna decorate. I'm going to be using only Dollar Tree items to decorate with. And here is the first tiered tray. Now this tiered tray, I actually purchased from Target, but everything that you see on this tiered tray, I purchased from Dollar Tree. So I have the LED roses right there. And then um, this red one is actually a felt rose. The white ones are foam roses. Almost looks like a little sweet shop or a little cake shop. That's what my inspiration was for this first tier. You can see that there is the cake and the three little fairies right there around it enjoying their cake. There's a cupcake or an ice cream right there. And then another dessert and this sign right here says arcade. I added the table scatter, so I added I added the fox right there and the fox right there, as well as the hedgehog. Now the bottom one is also, I think, super, super cute. These little pom-pom guys came in a craft kit. I'm gonna show you the kits and the packaging after. So the pink roses are felt roses, and again, the white roses are foam. Now these little guys are so cute. They have a little sign on them that says, be mine. The only thing I can say is that if you purchase these kits from Dollar Tree, um, definitely use a glue gun if possible because I tried several different types of glue and it just did not work that well. I used a glue gun and it was like super, super quick and easy to put together. So that is the first tier tray, my first decoration that I'm going to, sh that I'm sharing with you today. So these fairy garden pieces right here that you're seeing are actually from the Valentine's Day fairy garden for 2022 there it's called the sweets collection that's what they're calling it and um i do have every single piece so all these so all these little pieces right here are from that collection so i'll show you the rest of the collection with the other decorations that i made okay guys i'm just going to take a second and show you um the different things that i used in case you're looking for them this in case you uh, wanted to look for them in the store. So this is what the LED flower lights came in. It's by Luminescence. This is the pom-pom kit that I showed you. Um, it was a six piece kit. I unfortunately do not have the packaging for um, these two guys right here. Fortunately, Gianni and I did throw out the packaging for this because we did this craft together, but um, that is what they came in. And I'm sorry, Gianni's making noises right beside me. Sorry. But um, but yeah, that's what they that's what they look like. In case you wanted to make those, okay. And then I used foam roses, felt flowers, table scatter. So this is the table scatter right here, and this is the cute little animals. The ta and this is the table scatter with the cute little animals. Um, let me see. We have this right here. So this is for the hopping toy, um, <laughs> the bunnies and the chick that you will see at the end. That's what these guys came, that's what those guys came in and the fairy garden pieces. Now here's a better look at my second tier tray. This tier tray I actually got from Michaels and I think it's really, really beautiful. I love it. The reason why I went with two tier trays for this um, video and for this whole Valentine's Day theme is because this one has a wider rim on it. So I just figured that for some of the smaller pieces, they wouldn't show up as good. And that's why I went with that other tear tray right there for some of the smaller pieces. So that way you could see them without having to actually like go over them. You could see them from afar. So let me set this one up and then I'll share it with you. Oh my goodness, you guys, here is a second tear tray and I think it came out so cute. Let me show you um, what I used and let me show you more close up. So as you can see, I used a lot of the little fairy garden pieces in here. I did actually add um, a few from another set. I'll show you which ones those are in a second. But um, these adorable little love cupcakes I got in a, in a kit from Dollar Tree. They came with these cupcakes 
and these cute little hearts. Unfortunately, I don't have the packaging from that kit. Um, Gianni and I put them together and I'm not sure what happened to the packaging, but it's very, very similar to the other packaging I showed you for the little pom-poms. I think it said like felt Valentine's Day kit or something like that. But yeah, I used um, more of those white foam roses. I used some cupcake table scatter. I wanted this to look like almost like a little cupcake shop. That was kind of my vision with this, with the with the little fairy with the cupcake and all the miniatures. And then this one is more of like a heart ice cream, <laughs> more like a heart ice cream shop. So we have the little heart guys there holding up their little heart pendants and they have again some more cupcake table scatter i used the owl table scatter um there is a squirrel there and then there's another owl and squirrel on this side there's a hedgehog and i used the large felt roses as well as the white foam roses and i threw in a couple of red foam roses as well these three gnomes that you're looking at um, are actually from the Forest Collection, the 2022 Forest Collection. I do have that full collection. I'll show you that in a separate video, but I just thought I needed a few characters here. And also you can see the little baby girls there and the little tiny baby right there. Those I also added, but everything else is from that um, Valentine's Day Sweets Collection. I think they came out so cute. And then I used the lights right here, the fairy lights. Um, they were in the teen section. They look like this. I have another set of them. So like this, I do have this set of, um, heart lights. I decided not to use them only because I thought it would be too busy, but, um, but yeah, they also have that option available as well, but I hope that you guys like it. Now let me show you my glass greenhouse. Then I have an additional cute one that I put together as a bonus. <laughs> And I just wanted to take a second to show you the packaging of the ones um, of the fairy garden pieces that I used from the forest collection. I did point them out to you, but this is what they looked like. So the gnomes and the, the little girls and the baby. Every other piece that you see is from the sweets collection, the Valentine's Day fairy garden collection from Dollar Tree. Okay, so here is my glass greenhouse. I just think it's so cute. I got this glass greenhouse on Amazon. They have several different varieties available. And then they also have, um, they had some plastic ones that were just a little bit smaller than this at Target. I'm not sure if they still have them, but these are pretty easy to come by. You just need to, like I said, they have them at, they even have, an, they even have them at Michael's, but I found that Amazon was the best deal for me because I wanted a glass one to use for plants as well. But I decided to keep the snow trees in there only because Valentine's Day is in February. And up here in New England, we do get snow. We got two feet of snow on Saturday. So very appropriate where I am in Massachusetts. So um, this is more like a little sweet collection with the little popsicles and the gumball and the candies right there. So the gumball machine and the candies. I also added more foam roses. I love, love the rainbow. I put more of the table scatter there. You can see another hedgehog and fox. There's an owl. That's Gianni stopping by in case you hear that. And I even added the squirrel. So this is an overhead. I love this fairy on the llama too. It's either a llama or an alpaca. I think it's a llama because there's a ton of um, different decorations and items that have llamas on them. But this greenhouse, what I love about it is it does close. So, so I love that this greenhouse closes. So as you can see, it closes and it opens. So you can even have the little flap inside like that. Sorry about the glass. Um, you can see the light, but, but yeah, so that's why I went with this particular greenhouse. Cause like I said, I use it for plants, but one last thing to show you. So I used my little um, Christmas hoppers. There are two bunnies and one chick. And yeah, they were for Christmas. But, you know, they're wearing scarves and things like that and hats. So they're still appropriate for winter. And I just don't want to put them away. Gianni wants to actually play with them. I got this beautiful tray also as part of the collection. So I figured what better way to use it than to put a couple of extra rosettes a couple of extra roses that I had and that white Christmas tree because again we're here in Massachusetts and it's still freezing and snowing from time to time so this is my last bonus piece guys for this video so here are the four items that I decorated for the 
for this Valentine's Day collab. Again, sorry about the light reflecting in that glass greenhouse but I wanted you to see the long shot of it. Now we can go in close up. That was the first tear tray from Target and every single item in here that I use to decorate these tear trays from, these tear trays with is from Dollar Tree. There is my little bonus um, <laughs> hopping toy. There's my little bonus one right there. And then there is my Amazon greenhouse and my tear tray from Michaels. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you found my video from the playlist um, from Crafty Girl Down South, thank you. But if you did not find my video from the playlist, please go to Crafty Girl Down South's page. She has a playlist of all of our videos that are in this collab. And also go to um, the channel for Second Chance Love. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment down below, like the video, hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell so you know next time I upload and every time I upload. Have a wonderful day. I will see you all in the next one. And thanks again to Crafty Girl Down South and Second Chance Love for putting this wonderful collab together. Bye.